This video will show how we can automatically record triggers and play them back again in our emulator. So let's get to it. And we will start up this emulator with a uh, PDC Extreme. Uh, don't open browser. I'm getting tired of that. So let's just quickly check. I will refresh here and over here we should see the PDC Extreme. We were connected to it already. Uh, from this number of uh, devices on the network. So this video is in a part of a series where we are going through all kinds of things with the raw power explorer, which is what you see on the right side. And on the left side, you see the emulation tool that can take any Skyhoy panel, like physical panels like these, but emulate them inside of a software environment so that you don't need to own every piece of hardware we have ever made. So let's go in here. Oh, that was the wrong thing. It was the PC Extreme, the emulated one. I actually just connected to the physical panel on the table next to me, but we want to use the emulated version right here. So uh, just once again, in the emulator, if I press buttons, if I use the joystick, then I'm seeing triggers coming over into my raw panel explorer. Now, what I want to do is to um, go into the terminal here, just abort this and then uh, use the help to see uh, how can we record triggers. And it seems like we have this setting, record triggers, that if we give it a file name, it will record triggers into a file. So let's just try that and um, make sure we start that with a dash. And then my triggers. I think maybe we put in JSON as the ending. It's very likely that we need to do that. So inside of here in the file system, we find this uh, JSON file, which apparently already has some stuff in it. So it has, uh, yeah, it has saved the topology and so on. That's probably super useful so that when we want to play it back later, um, yeah, who are we to judge exactly what goes into this file? But that is the one that I just created. So now let's get started on playing back some triggers. You can see over here in the Explorer that we uh, receive those triggers. It's like if I'm moving the joystick, um, ah, maybe I need to reload this one. Okay, yeah, because, um, or maybe I need to reload this one. Yes, okay, so now we are, we are going at it. Um, we restarted the application, that's why we needed to reload. So that was like emulating the joystick. This is um, the, um, let's just quickly do this and then try this one again with the Zoom Rocker. Sometimes when you go between these intensive components like Zoom Rocker and uh, so on, then just, just click a button before you do so because it kind of resets the trigger scope down here. But now anyway, we are making these triggers, we are recording these triggers and we should now see that this file is growing. So it's now a much bigger file than it was before. And if we scroll a little bit around inside of it, we can see that we have this, top no, it was not topology data. It's probably further down that we see, yes, events. We have some sort of events, triggers coming in here and they are being recorded with a little timestamp. So in a moment when we are playing them back, then we'll have the same playback, um, or the, the same triggers hitting the, the panel. So let's just try that. Um, maybe go to the help and then see if we have something called playback triggers and the string. So if we run this one, uh, very likely we can do that with, instead of record triggers, we can run playback triggers. Are you ready? So um, let's just boot this up and run this one. It is going to um, now automatically playback triggers over to the PC Extreme that we find here in the uh, Raw Panel Explorer, Explorer uh, view on the right side. So I'm just waiting right now to see if uh, or when this is going to start. Now I'm just looking at this. When I start it up, it says that, oh, now it's playing back triggers. Yeah, so there you can see that the triggers are being played back by the application to my raw panel explorer over here. And there we see the encoder pulses, we see the zoom rocker and so on. So yeah, it's just playing back the file. Uh, the, the biggest mistake I made was that I waited about one minute before I was actually starting using it. And that meant it, it waited for one minute before it started playing back. So if you do this, you will probably start the panel up, you will start doing your trigger recording and then shut it down again. And, um, and just be real quick on starting the playback of triggers because it's going to record it with a zero timestamp set at the moment you start the application. So that's what we could learn from this one. In terms of automated testing, the last thing that we can do also is not just record and playback triggers like if it was macros, we can also 
uh, emulate triggers by frequency and so on. And this is what we have these um, sample files. Unfortunately, the documentation is not very clear to you guys. This is mostly an internal thing, but I want you to know that it exists and you have a chance to study these files. They can be downloaded from the raw panel uh, Dummies releases repository. So if, if you want to quickly check that out, let's go to Firefox, which I think was previously aimed at this um, uh, GitHub repo, which is the raw panel dummies releases. And inside of that one, you find these auto trigger samples. And that will give you exactly what you're looking at here, these JSON files. Now, we can use those to, uh, to, to do such triggers. And if you study them, then you might make some sense of them. This is hardware component ID 42 and 43. That would be like a joystick. And then there's some specification here of, of how the um, simulation should work. So let's just try this file out. I'm actually not even sure what it's going to do for me. But I'll just uh, copy this file name and then go into my terminal and start off my emulation of the PPC Extreme. Uh, in this case, I, I once again want to just quickly consult the help file here. And it says something like auto trigger config file and string floods triggers to clients based on a config file name for the config file. If file doesn't exist, it will get created. Use the JSON extension. All right. So auto trigger config file. Let's try that. Auto trigger config file. And then we type in this file. Are you ready? I want to see this over here because that is our PTC extreme. So what's what's going to happen here? Something. It received the trigger. How many triggers is it going to receive? OK, it's actually receiving a trigger like all the time somehow. OK, maybe we should try one of the other ones. There was other files as well. There was this one called Big Mess. That was appealing. Big Mess test. OK, so let's see what that does. OK, so you see, once again, it's it's sending over a lot of triggers, basically flooding the panel with those. So um, without getting into too much details, because this is really advanced, it is a possibility to use the emulator for such advanced things like flooding your device with raw panel triggers to see if it can cope with that or whatever it is that you want. But you need to study those files yourself to see if you can make um, any sense of, of what is inside of them. It is an advanced internal feature, but it is also a part of the package that is related to automated testing using the raw panel dump is.